Yeah, it's it's. Um, I, I just think my, my um, you know, the 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 key to to my leadership and what and, and how I tried to, you know, direct and, and lead my you know my staffs my the, the staffs that have worked with me and the players is I've just I've, I've always just been very honest and upfront about um, you know where, where things are and and um, and be very very transparent with you know, with, uh, you know, with, with, with my truth telling and, and, uh, you know, it's like I told the players, you know, earlier, uh, earlier today, um, you know, in the end, we're, we're going to be out of this. We're, we're going to be back to our business. We're, we're going to get, you know, hopefully, you know, several days to prepare for, for our first Big East game in several years and no one's going to care, you know, like the, the all, all we're going to be judged on is our performance and the end result, and no one's going to care. No one's going to write in the in in the story of our season that that COVID buried us in November and December. Um, so that we, you know, so basically, uh, you know, no one cares, fellas. Like, <laughs> be mentally tough. Uh, do the best we can. Stay in shape. Do the best we can. Staying sharp, skill-wise, working, you know, on a shooting machine, uh, because in the end, you know, when, when that ball goes up, you know, we're going to have to deliver, and uh, and we're on a mission to play in March in the NCAA tournament. So, whatever adversity we face, we've got to have enough success when we get back on the court to get back in that tournament that uh, that UConn belongs in and that we're striving to play in this year.